Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I haven't made a video like this in quite a while, but today we're talking about some different business ideas that I've been thinking about for a while and I wanted to share with you because I think there's a tremendous amount of opportunity in each one of these different seven business ideas that you could use this year. Now, a couple of quick notes here. First of all, I don't really make a lot of these videos anymore because I feel like the whole industry of, of how to make money just got really scammy with people trying to sell all of their courses so I don't really want to be associated with that. I don't make a lot of these videos anymore. But nonetheless, these are some cool ideas that I've been thinking about for a while that I did really want to share with you. So if you are new here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button and I guess the, the like button if, if, if you want to do that as well. Oh, and also just watch out for like the 50 fake Nate O'Briens like scamming people everywhere. I don't know, whatever. I'm not going to sell you anything, okay? Just remember that. Uh, now, the first business idea that I was thinking about that, you know, I actually really see a lot of opportunity here and there's no cost required with this is some type of influencer management. So, Here's the best way to explain this and why this can be such a great opportunity. Uh, first of all, th there is no cost associated with this. You don't have to have any startup costs. But when somebody like a YouTuber, for example, me, I guess I count as a YouTuber, um, when I get brand deals, when a company wants to sponsor me, I don't really want to spend the time talking to them and negotiating with them. I'd rather spend my time working on other projects and making, making more videos, for example. So I end up working with a manager. Now this manager basically just facilitates deals. They, they put together brand brand deals and sponsors. So they work with both the influencers and with the brands of the companies and they bring them both together and then they take a piece of the pie here. They take a cut anywhere traditionally between 10 and 20% of these sponsor deals that a lot of influencers do. So you can imagine if uh, somebody's getting $20,000 for a YouTube video, if you are uh, an influencer manager, then you could get a 10% cut of that uh, $20,000 deal and you could get $2,000 for just working with both the influencer and the brand. Now, I actually found this actually really, I don't think is very difficult to start. Uh, I work with a couple of different managers and they bring me deals and I just take the best ones that, that I want to personally work with. Um, but I think anybody can start it by basically just reaching out to a lot of influencers uh, and then reaching out to brands and, and just putting them in contact with each other and managing those deals. Um, maybe... I don't know if we're gonna make a more in-depth video on this, but I really do think there's such a great potential for something like this. And it doesn't just have to be YouTubers, it could be for TikTok influencers or various different types of influencers as well. Just remember putting those two uh, together, the brands and the influencer connecting them, and you can end up taking a cut from that. Uh, and I think it's a pretty great business model. Okay. The next one uh, is going to be for people who are a little bit more hands-on. You're gonna find that within these seven different ideas, some of them are gonna be ones you can just lay in bed and, and, and make money, and others are gonna be a little bit more physical, but I wanted to include both here because I know some people would rather just work with their hands. So the next one I think is really fun. Uh, it is converting vans. So there's been this really big trend for van life that I've seen recently in the past year or two, uh, especially. And so a lot of people want to live in vans. Uh, I, I know my friend, did this a couple of years ago. He bought a van and then he fully did a full conversion on it. Uh, he built out the inside. He put a bed and a sink and a couple other different things in there. Um, but what's crazy about this is that you can actually build out vans for other people and make a lot of money from this. So for example here, my friend who uh, bought this van for about some $20,000, he could go and sell his van that he converted and he could sell that for at least double the price, probably get forty-five dollars or $50,000 for that van simply because he did that full conversion. So this is a really cool idea that I, I, I think I've just been thinking about for a while because it turns out, you know, there's a lot of people who don't know the difference between a hammer and a screwdriver. And so they can't convert this van themselves. They can't turn this into like a little home themselves. So they want to pay somebody else to do it. So if you are skilled with carpentry or you just have some basic skills with building things, then I would consider just making it like a small little side business. I know there's so many people looking to have somebody else build a van out for them. You know, maybe somebody who lives in New York City uh, and they're making a lot of money. They don't have the tools or the resources to convert their van, so they'll just hire you to do it. Um, and there's a number of ways to market this service, but um, if you get into that van life uh, area on YouTube or on social media, you could probably find some clients on there or uh, maybe just start to buy vans and convert them and then sell the vans. But really, you don't even need to do that. You can just build them for other people and not have to really have many costs associated with that. Okay, so the third idea is going to be a monetized newsletter. This is another one that I've been looking at for so long and I honestly wish I could do this myself, but I just have 
too many other things that I'm working on right now, but I think there's so much uh, potential here is monetized newsletters. Okay, so if you are familiar with Morning Brew, it's a company that sponsors some of my videos in the past. And this company, it's, it's just a, an email newsletter. Anybody could start something like this. Uh, and I think last I checked, they were valued at about $50 million. I'm not sure what the article was. I'll throw it up on the screen here. Um, but it's just a basic email newsletter. This started out, I think, about five years ago. Um, and they are making so much money by giving a free newsletter to people who sign up for it. Now, how does this company make money? How does this newsletter make money? Uh, well, they end up getting sponsors and they do a lot of affiliate marketing in their newsletter. So imagine if you have a million people reading your newsletter every single morning, there's so much power and value in that, that you can sell ad spots to different brands. Um, and so I, I would really suggest starting something like this. Um, once again, there's really no cost associated with it. Maybe you're gonna have to pay for some autoresponders for maybe some, some email services. Um, but if you start off with something like MailChimp, using that to send out emails, you can uh, get, I think, the first couple thousand uh, email subscribers for totally free. The problem here could be a little bit labor intensive. Uh, if you don't like writing email newsletters every day, it could be a little bit annoying. And also it could take a while to get it going. But I still think it could be one of the best ideas out there. Okay, now the next one is going to be renting out cameras. So I know a lot of photographers and videographers and even YouTubers who might not want to buy like a, a new red camera, some of those really expensive five or $10,000 cameras, uh, because maybe they just have one shoot that they want to do, uh, or maybe they just have one project that they need to uh, borrow some equipment. And so there's actually a whole business opportunity within this uh, uh, different scene here, which is by renting out equipment especially like cameras or different types of audio gear to photographers and to videographers uh, and, and for people who uh, need some type of things like that. So um, I, I know a couple of people who do this. Actually, I only really know one person who does this uh, really, really well. Um, there are a couple of caveats here, a couple of problems with it. But the cool thing is that, you know, imagine you can buy something. So you can buy something for $5,000 and then you're renting this out multiple times per month for maybe a few hundred dollars per day. Uh, and you're able to really make a lot of money from this one physical object that you have. Have. And you could take this same idea of renting out cameras to photographers and videographers, and you could apply it to maybe a field that you're maybe well versed in, uh, maybe something that you have a lot more knowledge about. Um, I remember seeing people who would uh, rent out log splitters for a day uh, because you know some people want to get their own firewood, and so they cut down a bunch of trees on their property, but they don't have any way to split the wood. So I would see people rent log splitters for hundred dollars a day, and they would rent them out, and the log splitter will only cost them two thousand dollars to begin with and so they were able to make their money back within uh, only really a couple of months and then it just really just basically printed cash for them so that's an idea as well just think about what you have around your house or something that you're already pretty well experienced with uh, especially maybe what you do for work or what you do for a job uh, and then think about the different items that you could potentially rent out to people a couple of problems with this though is that you know, you have to make sure you do this properly. You got to make sure that you have the contracts. You got to make sure you have insurance, um, you know, because if somebody rents your camera, they drop it. You don't want to be out of $5,000. Uh, you got to have to make sure that you have some things set up for that. So if you want to explore that route, make sure you just look into it a lot more because there are going to be a couple of caveats there. But I do think it could be a business that can end up printing you some money. Now, the next one here is it's not going to be some crazy, you know, start your own Tesla, um, but it's one that I... I love including this in my videos. I know it's March right now, so I don't know how many people watching this are actually going to really take this, um, but mow lawns. Lawn care, it's the most simple business model in the world. This is how I paid for college. Uh, this was one of my first businesses, and it is the best cash producing business that anybody, especially teenagers, if you're in high school, if you're in college, you want to make some money this summer, mow lawns. You can set it up pretty simply. You can do some crazy marketing in your local area, Craigslist, Facebook. You can use a, a, a different things like uh, doing actual posters around on different billboards. Um, and you can market this service for you know $40, $50 per lawn, and you can get 10 or 20 lawns. You can do those all in a weekend. You can make $500 or $1,000 in a weekend by doing this. And I made a video about this maybe three years ago on, on my channel, um, talking about how I structured this and how I did this when I was mowing lawns. But you don't have to reinvent the wheel to make money. 
And I think sometimes so many people are going out and just trying to be the next Elon Musk. They're just trying to make the new Amazon. And that's fine. You can do it. Um, but I think there's a lot more potential for success when we go for simple business models of understanding your expenses, understanding uh, your potential profits, and just being able to pump cash out from a simple business like mowing lawns. So I'm always going to love that one. Uh, and, and I do think that people should consider that, especially because it's March right now. So now is the perfect time to get a lot of lawn care clients. So the next idea is to edit podcasts because there are so many podcasts out there right now. And it feels like everybody thinks that they're the next Joe Rogan and they're just starting a podcast, which is cool. That's fine. I'm sure there are a lot of next big up and coming podcasters, but why not make money off of those people who are all starting their podcasts? It kind of reminds me of uh, the gold rush and that saying that um, the people who really made money in the gold rush, it wasn't the miners, it was the people selling the shovels to all of the miners, right? So this is something that you could do with editing podcasts for a bunch of different people. Um, I know that I've probably been on maybe a couple dozen podcasts over the past year. I feel like the, the biggest problem that they seem to have when I just talk to these people is they say, you know, I really wish I could speed things up by hiring somebody to edit my podcast episodes for me. I swear, I, I've seen at least a dozen people say that um, and they all have that problem where it just takes some time to edit. So why not reach out to a ton of different podcasts and offer to edit those podcasts for them for a certain price. I don't know what would be the good price point. You could set that for yourself. I would suggest probably starting off at a really low price point. And then once you get a bunch of customers, then you can start building up that price point to the point where uh, your schedule is full and then you can start raising the prices. And that's kind of how I would go about uh, doing that. But it's something that you can do from your home as long as you have a somewhat decent computer. Uh, and then you would be able to edit podcasts for people. And you could edit videos, YouTube videos. I know a lot of uh, YouTubers are always looking for video editors as well. And that leads us into the last one, which is also not going to seem like a revolutionary idea, but I know personally this is uh, where I pay most of my money from our business, which is just by paying writers. So you could do some basic content writing for blogs, reach out to a bunch of blogs and just ask them if they need content written and what they're offering to pay per word. So I know that we'll pay anywhere from six to 10 cents per word for blog articles. Um, sometimes I see people who are paying uh, upwards of 20 or 30 or 40 cents per word for very specific articles that they need written. Um, and you could do this from literally anywhere. Uh, we have a lot of contractors that we work with who are living out in the desert somewhere uh, and they live in vans and they just uh, wake up in the morning and they might crank out a couple of articles for us and we pay them. And uh, it, it, it's a really great business model for people like that. Basically freelance work. You're not gonna become a multimillionaire off of something like that, but I know people who pay their bills uh, by just doing some basic writing for people. So especially if you're skilled with that. I know I'm not a writer. There's different types of communicators. There's people who are great at speaking. There's people who are great at uh, uh, visual, right? They're able to create good artwork. And then there's people who are great with writing. I'm not good with writing. I'm not good with visuals. I'm also not great with speaking, but either way, you know, um, that's kind of the ideas that I had here for this video. I hope you found some value. Uh, I, I hope you can run with one of these or at least maybe be inspired by one of these. Uh, and um, I wish everybody the best of luck. If you end up starting one of these, let me know, send me a DM. And of course, watch out for all the scammers as well. All right, peace out, guys.